Oh, it's like this. This is. This, I mean, it doesn't look as snazzy as this usually, but this madness, this general madness, is the usual way at Coronation Street. Let me tell you that. Um, a big stuff for Becky at the minute, obviously with the BB and and Kylie and so on. Yeah. As we saw from the preview clips, quite an offers made to Kylie yes. and Steve. Yeah, Do you yeah, yeah. Think that can work out? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it can work because literally what you saw there, I mean, we've still got to do some reshoots on all that. That is so fresh. We haven't even finished filming those weeks. Okay. So um, I don't know what where, what's going to happen with that. I can't, I can't tell you. Uh, Eddie Windass has been a bit of a pain in your backside with the adoption stuff. Oh, he's all right. He's <laughs> harmless. No, we get on all right with the Windasses. You know, it's Steve and him, really, that seem to rub each other up the wrong way. You did throw him out of the rubber. I think it's next week or the week after. Oh, do I? <laughs> you you did. see? I don't know. Things happen so fast. It's you know, you think we're being dead mysterious and lying, but we actually just can't remember from one minute to the well, next. No, Steve does drag you over to apologise. Oh, yeah, he does, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. I've um, totally forgotten. Oh, he's all right. He's got big bigger worries his, his child's in Afghanistan so you know he's got some problems there bless him yeah we're all right you know for the live episode presuming you'll be in how are you feeling about that now well I don't mind I'm looking forward to it I mean I might be speaking to you soon here but no I, I wasn't around obviously for the 40th um, and I honestly didn't think we would be doing one because we'd already done one so I just didn't think that was even sort of on the agenda um, but it is and uh, bring it on I say yeah because we're going to get actually get some rehearsal time that's what I'm looking forward to rather than and action. <laughs> um, after that, uh, 2011. Oh, no, no, okay, no bother at all. What can we expect for Steve and Becky come in the future? Oh, all hell's going to break loose because um, somebody who's not around at the moment is going to be showing her ugly face again. Her. <laughs> probably going to batter it. Um, no, the, actually, what's brilliant for me is it doesn't feel like anything. I mean, you know, it is one of the storylines for the 50s, but for me, this storyline began um, the day that she got rejected from the uh, adoption uh, panel because that was the day she found out about Kylie. And actually, the you know, because we're already talking about Christmas and next year, and um, and the storyline just continues. I mean, the tram sends it off in a bit of a different direction, but actually it's more of a sort of long storyline than that, that, that that kind of has this interruption in the middle for Becky. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a, it doesn't sort of climax on that, like, say, the Leanne storyline. Do you know what I mean? Um, so it's, it's, it's ace. Yeah, it's ace. Oh, I love it. I can't complain. Yeah, it's brilliant. I love what they're doing with her. Yeah.